I'm back. Sorry about that little interruption, but um, Sainsbury's delivered sooner than I thought. Here I am again, and we're on day three, and I've started painting the face again. And let's continue. And as I said before, the colors are a bit darker. I haven't quite gotten it straight with the webcam, but um, bear with me. <laughs> okay. As I said in my previous being live, being creative, in um, my Color of Thought events, we talked about the balance of the feminine and the, the masculine with our creative spirit. And because the masculine principle esoterically is uh, responsible for receiving the messages through the feminine principle from above. It's responsible for the visible form. And there's such an imbalance right now that you might have seeing that the last few weeks there's a lot of events about the feminine and through that it came to me that I wanted to do the f feminine principle of um, the color of thought now the thing that we need to realize is that in order to do this, I have to use the masculine principle that helps to make the feminine principle visible. So it includes all aspects of humanity. I use um, Linguin as a medium. Which seems to um, help with the oil paint. I use oil paints because um, for me, acrylic paints are like painting with plastic unless you airbrush and then you get another dimension usually the thing about um, acrylics is that it deals with reflected light only you don't go deeper into the colors you just deal with reflected light and in my work, I um, have been taught that if I am motivated to create artwork that acknowledges the visible and the invisible dimensions of who we are, then um, 
I use oil paints which have translucent colors and transparent colors and opaque colors so that um, like I'm painting with a white right now which is an opaque color so that will hold back a lot of the um, colors on the invisible plane but then once this dries I will and I've already done it to the blue paint um, a glaze a clear glaze on top so that the light will travel through and it often creates new optical colors and I will in some places use translucent colors or transparent tints which basically takes you into another dimension of light towards the invisible area. I don't know if that makes much sense but as we go on making this you'll see more of what I'm talking about. As we um, discussed in the indigo color of thought session, indigo is the color of the vault of heaven. Again, it um, takes you into the invisible realm of what we are, what life is.
now um, you're going to witness how sometimes my creative process takes me forward and back again. So it came to me that the indigo needed to um, be more dominant than it is for the moment. And for some reason, the colors have dropped. There we go. That's better. I never know why this happens. Sometimes on some of my sculptures, they fall off. I was doing a little angel for the Arundel Castle one summer and I was outside in the garden with my pedestal and my little angel. And it looked like it was sort of dumpy, slumpy. And I was um, not feeling like changing it, expanding it often happens that if I'm going to take something to a higher realm, the sculpture particularly looks dumpy. It needs to be a longer um, body. If you look at some of the um, Renaissance paintings and they paint the Madonna and child and things, the relationship has a longer body or longer fingers or something that depicts something more hum world, otherworldly, I should say. So anyway, I go and have lunch. And I think I'll come back and close off the sculpture. But when I came back, the wind knocked it over. And I had to start all over, but it gave, not completely all over because there were pieces, but I had to um, make it longer. And I said, thank you, okay. I, <laughs> I give in, I surrender. This is interesting. On the screen it looks more black, but it isn't really. But I'll have Matthew and I have been working on this webcam to see if we can get the colours right. So far we haven't succeeded yet. So I thought today I'm just going to do it. It's a bit better than what it was. The face originally was just white. It didn't show any different colors in it. But we'll see. What's coming to me now, looking at her face, the shape of her, it's like an egg shape. And Often in some of the ancient pictures, the moon goddess had the shape of an egg. Maybe that's what's supposed to happen. We shall see as time goes on what will be revealed. And I will have to find a consistent time to be doing this. Last night on my live, several people living in different parts of America said to do it at 11.30 UK time would mean 
it was five or six in the morning for them. So it's probably all right now, doing it now, but um, to do it consistently within my home schedule, we'll see how it goes. And I so wanted to paint on this today, I thought, even though, you know, I can't wait another day. The creative force is calling me to come and do the next level. So here I am later in the day. There is going to be a replay. So anyone who missed it can see it again. And eventually we will have a regular time and for you to watch this painting grow and become. So I will show you this from the other camera when I'm finished for today. But right now I need to turn her around and work on around the border of the silver. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do another layer. Yeah, have to ponder this because that's not working. Okay, I think that's it for today. I have to uh, put away my groceries. I'll go back to the other camera and hold this up so that um, you can uh, see it <laughs> in another way. <laughs> We're coming right now. So, oops, excuse me. Here's day three. Mm, get this right. You see how the indigo isn't as dark as black as it looked? But um, you can see on the silver or with the top how the edges <laughs> ginger get something right. Sorry, this way, this way. Okay, that way. You see how they're a bit fragmented. I don't know how um, that's going to be corrected, but I'm sure by tomorrow I'll figure it out. So, thank you for coming. Please share it so that more people um, that's interested in creativity and at least how I've been trained to involve the invisible and the visible into your artwork. So, have a really good day and I will speak to you tomorrow. Definitely, I'll be doing the color of thought in the evening and then
probably be more um, settled about being live creatively next week. But right now, it's called being spontaneous. <laughs> Have a good day.